Very good, my friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to control your air condition via Wi-Fi only for 10 euros. Imagine you are in the supermarket, you get your mobile phone, you start your air condition, and when you get home, your home is at the perfect temperature. I have bought a 10 euros Wi-Fi treat that I'm going to connect Mitsubishi Heavy Industries MSZ DM35 BA, but you can do it for other air condition products. The idea is that the air condition already has a temperature control, so we just need to plug it or unplug it. And I read the data sheet, and when this air conditions get back to the power supply, it gets the last program that was working. If you have a different model or air condition, you can watch the data sheet. If you found something similar to the auto restart function of the Mitsubishi air condition, if not, you can do something more easy. You can turn on your air condition, then find the circuit breaker, turn it off, and then turn it on. And if the air condition after few minutes starts in the same program that was before, that means that this trick will work also for you. You can buy one of these thermostats from Honeywell or Ness or anywhere else, but they are going to cost you 150 euros. This is expensive. We are going to do it only for 10 euros. Mitsubishi sells a Wi-Fi controller for some of its air condition, but this one costs like 80 euros. The good thing about this controller is that you can control remotely the temperature with the switch we are only be able to switch on or switch off a condition but for me this is enough because you program your air condition for the whole winter or the air condition for the whole summer you don't touch it and the only thing that you want to do is to turn it on or off before getting home okay let's take a look to the data sheets and i'm going to explain you some details that you have to take in consideration the first thing you have to check in the data sheet is that the capacity of your smart switch is not exceed by the consumption current of your air condition. The maximum current that can take my smart switch is 10 amps and the maximum consumption on my air condition is 4.8 so I will not have any problem with my smart switch. The first thing we have to do is to find the power cables. To do that, we have to open the cover, remove the filters, and then take apart the air conditioner chassis. It is possible that you have to dismantle more parts to find the cables. We have to find a place between the air conditioner and the circuit breaker to install the smart switch. In my case, they have used the blue for the neutral and the black for the light. Now I'm removing the insulation to see the cables where I want to install the smart switch. Power is switched off. Now I'm cutting the neutral and then I'm going to cut the line. I have stripped the cable at the four ends. Now I'm going to install the smart switch. I have to connect the neutral and the line coming from the circuit breaker in the input of the smart switch and connect in the output of the smart switch the air conditioner. Now I can switch on the circuit breaker and hope for the best. First, we are going to read the QR code in the extraction and we are going to download and install the a smart life application. When the application is already installed, we are going to open it and get registered in the application. The application asks for our email address and our country code. It sends you a code to your email address to verify your address. Now we have to set up a secret password. Now we create a family.
when the family is already created, we go to the plus symbol in the top right corner of the screen to create a new device. We go to the button of the list and we select other products. Now we have to make sure that the smart switch is blinking rapidly. If it's not, you have to hold the button of the smart switch for 5 seconds until you get it blinking rapidly. In the next step we have to select our home Wi-Fi and put the password. Now we have to wait until it gets to the 100 person. For me it doesn't work at the first time and I had to do a second procedure. When it fails I press more help and then I press how to use compatibility mode. Now we are going to follow this instruction. The first step is to turn off the circuit breaker and wait 10 seconds. Now we turn on the circuit breaker, wait 10 seconds and hold the button on the smart switch for 5 seconds and then we release it. The smart switch light has to start to blink rapidly. Now hold for 5 seconds the smart switch button and then it has to blink slowly. We insert again the password of the Wi-Fi and start the connection. Now the switch is available in our Smart Life application. Now you can press the switch button to turn on or turn off your air conditioner from everywhere in the world where you have internet access. By default, the Mitsubishi air conditioner takes 5 minutes to start to work. I hope this video has been useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and see you in next video.